You know, I got a good friend that's an engineer. He can figure out things and design and build amazing things. At home, he can barely change a light bulb, much to the frustration of his wife. For me, I love counseling couples. I love giving them ideas. I, I love helping them work through problems and making their marriages better. At home, my batting average fluctuates. As a counselor, knowing how to do something and helping others to to do that something is, is pretty easy for me. Knowing how to make a marriage better and then doing so every day in my marriage, well, it's not always as easy. So here's my dilemma. Home's my refuge. Home is where I let my hair down. Sometimes I can go too far because I don't live alone. I got a wife that loves me, who needs and wants me to be a part of her life. So when I get short with her because I'm tired, frustrated, or whatever the results, well, they're never good. They're not good for me. I get down on myself because I know better, and they're not good for her because I've let her down, and at times, I've even pushed her away. So for our marriage to get better, something needed to change, and that something was me. I also knew that this was like anything else in my life that needed change. I couldn't do it alone. The only one who could really help me was God. So I began to pray. I asked Him to change my attitude, my tone of voice, and the words I said. I said, help me to be kind. Kind communication. What a simple concept. Kind words, kind tone of voice, kind body language, kind. What happened was a total God deal. It was one of those times that I prayed and he showed up. I mean, he always shows up. I just miss him sometimes, or I don't listen to him well, or I don't follow his lead. This time, I opened myself up completely to him. I had the motivation and the desire to change me. There were times that I opened my mouth and could hardly believe the words that were coming out. Don't get me wrong. I didn't become God's puppet, but maybe in a way I did. Not in a bad way. An incredibly good day, way. Because when I lay down my selfish ways and desires, I open myself up to Him and to His ways. My words become kinder. My body language becomes kinder. My tone of voice is kinder. And Nancy's response it was amazing. She was kinder too. We both loved what was happening in our change, in our change interactions. So do I still get off track at times? Sure. But God gets me back on tra track quickly and I tell Nancy that I'm sorry. And we move on. So think about your conversations with your spouse yesterday. How many of them were kind conversations? For the ones that weren't, what could you have done to reframe them into kind conversations? What can you learn from this exercise? Remember, start with step one. Pray. You can't do it alone. Beside, believe me, I tried. I don't know why it was so hard for me to be consistent in this way. Actually, I do know. It was my selfishness, and it was ruling my life. It trumped Nancy, and it trumped God. And how was that working for me? Not very well at all. Being kind can have an amazing effect on you, your spouse, on your, and your marriage. It creates lots of touch points. Kind. What are you waiting for?